Good morning, everybody. I'm on my way to work right now this morning. It's about 10.30. Heading to Jupiter, Florida. I woke up this morning, and for some reason I just wanted to talk a little bit about God. Specifically, I wanted to talk about a passage in the Bible that says... As in the days of Noah, so shall be the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Well, folks, if you believe in God, and I hope you do, then you know that that's a powerful statement, and that applies to today. So I'll touch a little bit about the flood. So the flood was God's mercy. A lot of people will say to me, oh, well, why could God, if he's so good and, you know, has mercy and loves his people, then why is there death and destruction? And why did he flood the earth and kill everybody? Well, it's quite simple, actually. In the days of Noah, there were genetic modifications made to God's perfect creation. Us. What I mean by that is the watchers, the angels, they came down, they saw how beautiful women are, and man, women are beautiful. You know who you are, all of you. Anyway, so they saw that, and they decided that they wanted to have sex with them, and they did. The result of that were the Nephilim, the giants, the men of renown. We know they existed because we find their skeletons all over Earth, ranging from 8 to 35 feet tall. It's not made up, it's not a joke, it's not a hoax. They're everywhere. We have complete skeletons. How is that possible? Well, it's possible because the DNA of the two races were mixed. Genetic adulteration. So, God saw his creation, he saw what was happening, and he was displeased. So he instructed Noah to gather all the animals. But Noah didn't really gather the animals. Noah just did his own thing. All the animals came to him. And they all gathered in this big giant boat that he made. It took him approximately 200 years to build the boat. And I think it's important to note that Noah was about 700 and something when he started the ark and was about 900 something when he finished it. Pretty amazing. So then God flooded the earth opened the floodgates in the firmaments and let the waters above flood into the waters below. I say waters below because a lot of people don't really understand air that we breathe is a liquid. Yes. It's just a very not so dense liquid. We know it's a liquid because of air fluid dynamics. Gases and fluids have exactly the same properties and behaviors. They act exactly the same. That's why we have density and buoyancy instead of magic gravity. But I digress. Let me stay on topic. So, the waters above flooded into the waters below inside the firmaments where we all are. Effectively destroying the genetic modification. Today, what do we see? We see genetic testing. Super soldier programs. We see genetic hybrids in all of our media today, 
especially geared towards our children. Look at Shrek, ogres, talking. The talking donkey, donkey! We see Little Mermaid. The examples are countless. Minions. We see it all around us. That's real, folks. It's real. Those Nephilim are alive today. With this stuff happening at CERN, the Large Hadron Collider over in Switzerland, the people at CERN will freely admit in writing that they are using magic and technology to open a portal to another world. They are trying to get Apollo to come back through. Another name for Apollo is Apollyon, the destroyer. And folks, it's going to happen. Believe it. The Word of God says it will. And God's Word has never failed. Never. Love it. So, that's what we're going to see. I have a, uh, I have a friend, I'll call him a friend, I don't know him, but we've communicated, we've communicated a few times and, uh, I really like his messages, I like his videos a lot, I think he's very much on point with what he says and what he shows. If you go to YouTube, you can type in biologically toxious, okay? He's only got a few videos, but man, they are so accurate. I would suggest that everybody watching this video that you go and you check out his last couple videos. His newest too. Quite eye-opening. So when this happens, when CERN opens this magic portal, bends time and space, we're going to see all sorts of crazy, frightening, monstrous beings. Nephilim. Giants. Will it be when you lay your eyes on them for the first time that you say, oh my God, it's all real. God is real. The Bible is true. Or will you say, that's just genetic testing and it's totally fine? I don't know. I know what I'm going to say. So just something for you to think about today. Sorry about that. But I do want you to uh, think about that passage. It's very powerful and it rings true with everything we see today. As in the days of Noah, so shall be the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Biologically toxic. Check them out. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. God bless.